Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my channel. Now today the recipe that I'm going to share with you all is something that everyone is guaranteed to love. It's cozy, it's cheesy, it's gooey, it's comforting. It's my white chicken and mushroom lasagna. So let me run through what you need and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is one kg of chicken breast fillets without the skin. I've got 500 grams of button mushrooms here which I've chopped into bite-sized pieces. I've got four cups which is one litre of milk. This is semi-skimmed milk I'm using here. I've also got 500 millilitres of boiled kettle water and I've added two chicken stock cubes into this to make stock. I've got 200 grams each of um, shredded mozzarella and cheddar here and I've got um, 200 grams of grated mature cheddar and I've also got two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of butter which is around 30 grams in weight, I've got three garlic cloves which I've minced and I've got half a teaspoon of salt and pepper here. I've also got here half a teaspoon of black pepper and two bay leaves. I've got three fourths of a cup of flour. I've got 50 grams of butter, which is salted. I've got three cloves of garlic, again minced, and I've got one teaspoon of dried oregano and dried chili flakes. So let's start cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start poaching our chicken. And to do that in a pot large enough to hold your liquid, we're gonna go straight in with the milk. Just add that in. Add the chicken stock as well and we're also going to throw in our bay leaves and our uh, black pepper so just add that in so allow that to come up to a gentle simmer and then I'll show you what you need to do guys it's not tradition if I don't forget to tell you something so here goes totally forgot to mention that you need pasta sheets now I'm using uh, the fresh pasta sheets here uh, you can use the dry ones if you wish, that's entirely up to you. And these come in a pack of six and you need one pack of this. Right guys, this has come up to the simmer and you can see that it's just slightly bubbling away. And at this stage, I'm going to add my chicken in. So straight in with the pieces, just gently lower them in. And then lid on and just allow that to simmer away for 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it and do make sure it's on a low simmer and not boiling away otherwise the milk will split okay so to prepare the mushrooms i've got my pan here which is nice and hot and to that i'm just going to add my oil and my butter and just allow that to melt And I'm going to throw in my garlic and we're going to fry this for about a minute just to get rid of the rawness. And then I'm going to add my mushrooms in and we're going to cook these for about five minutes. I'm going to season them now as well with salt and pepper. And I'll see you guys back in about five minutes time. My heat setting is on a seven, which is a medium heat setting. And you want it quite high for this as well. So start off on a seven and then whack it halfway through, just whack it up to uh, full power, which is a nine for me. So guys, we're halfway through the five minute cook on this and I'm just gonna turn my hob settings onto full power now. And we're going to finish cooking this off and I'll show you how it looks once it's done. Right, okay guys, it's been five minutes. These have been cooking away and you can see they look absolutely lovely. And I'm just going to turn off my hob and just set these aside and we're just going to move on to the next stage of the recipe. Right, okay guys, the 15 minute timer for the chicken is up. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the chicken breast fillets out into a plate and I'm going to allow them to cool down and then I'm going to shred them into small pieces and just set them aside. And this stock that we've got here, this um, milk and chicken stock mixture, we're just going to set this aside and we're going to use it to make our white sauce later on. So just pop the lid on and just pop that to the side. Right guys, I've shredded my chicken and I'm just going to set this aside and now we're going to make the white sauce. 
So now we're going to be making the white sauce. So I'm using the same pan that I fried my mushrooms in and I'm going to add my butter into this and just allow that to melt. My heat setting is on an eight at the moment, which is a high heat setting, but I will reduce that. So when the butter has melted, we're going to throw in our garlic and we're going to fry this for about a minute. I've turned my heat settings down to a seven, so I don't want to burn the garlic. So after the garlic's done, we're going to go in with the flour. Um, we're going to cook the flour for about two to three minutes. Right, okay, three minutes later, and this is how the, uh, the flour is looking. And the, there is a really nice aroma coming off from the, uh, the garlic and the butter that we added. And I've taken one mug off the, uh, the liquid that we poached our uh, chicken in, and we're going to add that straight in like that. Just going to give everything a mix. Then we're going to take another cup and add that in and I'm going to get a whisk now and I'm going to whisk this I added approximately two and a half cups in already because you just need to be quite quick and with the whisk I'm going to make sure there's no lumps whatsoever so I'm just going to turn my hob off for a second and just whisk this so it's lump free before I add the remaining amount of liquid into this So all of that flour, just make sure it's completely lump free. And if it starts to thicken up a little bit, just take more um, liquid and just add that in. There we are. And we're gonna use up the entire lot of the liquid, but we're just gonna make sure this is completely lump free before we do that first. All that flavor from the garlic mushrooms that we fried in this pan, then the, the garlic itself with the roux, it's absolutely, oh, it's wonderful, that smell. Okay, that's looking good. And now I'm just going to add the whole lot in and just use up this entire um, liquid that we used. Let the two bay leaves go in as well and we'll just take them out right at the end. And then hob back on again turn it to a six which is a medium heat setting and we're going to thicken this now so let it come up to the boil and we're going to thicken this and whilst that's thickening i'm going to throw in the dried oregano and the chili flakes just allow that to come up to the boil now Right, okay guys, the white sauce has been bubbling away for about six minutes on a medium heat setting and it's really nice and thick and it's coating the back of my spoon as you can see a spatula and that's what you want. Now, I've just turned my heat settings off now and to this I'm gonna add my cheddar cheese straight in like that. and just give it a mix. Make sure that's really nicely combined and cheesy. That looks absolutely fantastic. And what I'm gonna do to this now is I'm gonna take a ladle and I'm gonna take out approximately two and a half mugs of this white sauce and just set that aside for the topping. And then we're gonna add the chicken and the mushrooms into that and give it the rest of it a mix. So there you have it guys, two and a half mugs of uh, the white sauce, which I've set aside for the topping. So into this now with the chicken and the mushrooms. So just pop that straight in like that. Also add in the mushrooms. And then we're gonna give everything a mix and make sure that's really nicely combined. Smells amazing already, as always. And don't worry if you think that's looking a little runny. It will thicken up once it cools because it's got obviously got cheese in there. And um, once it sort of like cools down, it will thicken up. Just make sure you mix it all well. So you've got an even distribution of chicken and mushrooms. That looks perfect. Okay, that looks absolutely wonderful. 
and at this stage what you want to do is you just want to check uh, the seasoning in there so I'm just gonna that is perfect I don't need anything more in there but if you want to add a little bit more of the salt or the um, the black pepper then by all means go ahead and do that to your personal preference but because we added the stock cubes in when we were um, poaching the chicken that has given that uh, white sauce really really good flavour and it doesn't require any salt at all so now we are going to start the layering of the lasagna and let me show you how to do that right guys we are about to layer our lasagna but before I do that I am going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees C mine is a fan assisted oven so I'm going to let that preheat and by the time we've actually laid the lasagna up the oven should be ready uh, for it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sauce and I'm just going to smear a little bit right at the bottom down here and that'll just help the uh, the sheets from sliding around like that and I've got my sheets here and I just um, cooked them according to the packet instructions uh, which is just pop them, in, pop them into boiling water for two minutes I've sliced my sheets in half just so that I can um, arrange them nicely in the plat uh, in the tray sorry so I'm gonna go in and do this so I don't mind pasta I love it um, so I'm gonna just overlap them and just arrange them in here so there we are that's perfect and now we're going to take our mixture just pop that to the side just move that away and then we're going to go straight over with our creamy chicken and mushroom mixture like that oh totally forgot to mention the tray that i'm using is a 35 by 23 centimeter tray which is six and a half um, centimeters deep that's the probably one of the most important things that you wanted to know so just make sure you sort of like mix that mixture up before you actually put it into the tray because you want a decent amount of those beautiful mushrooms that we've added in as well with every sort of like mouthful and you want to do half of this so be generous make sure you get it right to the edges like that just a little bit more just make sure it's it's there like that perfect and then we go in with our second layer so straight over again repeat the process pop that on And then same again, chicken on top. Make sure you give it a mix before you put it on. And just use all of it up. And then straight over with the final sheet of pasta going on top. Get it right to the edge there. Just pull that over slightly, just make sure you get it right to the edge, like that. And then we're going to top this with the white sauce, all over, just like that. Just push it down a little if you have to, just use the spoon and just push it down and just make sure that's really nicely covered. Perfect. And then I'm going to top it with my mozzarella and cheddar all over the top. And then what you want to do is you want to get some foil and just cover that on top like so. And that is now going to go into the oven at 200 degrees C for 20 minutes with the foil on and then after 20 minutes I'm going to remove the foil and cook it for a further 10 minutes and I'll show you how it looks in 30 minutes times. 
Right, okay guys, the chicken lasagna is done and the timer is up, so I'm gonna take it out of the oven now and show you guys how it looks. And it is absolutely amazing and majestic. Look at that. Whoa, how beautiful does that look? Oh, that golden cheese just bubbling away in the corners as well. That white sauce just looks absolutely fantastic. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it just sort of like sets ever so slightly. And then I will plate this up and show you guys exactly how it is. Right guys, the lasagna has cooled down enough for me to be able to tuck into it and tell you guys exactly how it is. Oh, smells amazing. So here goes the moment of truth take off that gooey cheese from the top. Oh, a bit of mushroom, yep. And some chicken. Oh my God, oh wow. Mmm, that is absolutely amazing. So creamy, so cheesy, just super silky or what? And that, flavor from the stock cube that we added. Oh my God, it's absolutely delicious, guys. And if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I just want to dive right into this. <laughs> oh my God, it's that good. Mmm. One recipe you've got to try. Mm. No lie, it's fantastic. So much flavor from the stock cube that we added, the garlic. Oh my God, there's so much flavor from the garlic coming through and it's absolutely fantastic. Topped with that white sauce and cheese, that golden bubbly cheese. Guys, try the recipe out. I am sure you're gonna love this. If you're having a celebration the next couple of days, try it because you're gonna love this recipe. All you need to do is just make it, layer it up, pop cling film over it and then put it into your fridge. Then on the day, take it out, just whack it into the oven and it's ready. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, then like always, show your support and give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And if you, if you like the content that is, and also hit that bell notification to never ever miss new videos like this ever again. I'll be back again next week with another one. Till then, take care and happy eating.